Need for Speed Most Wanted. Every car, every race. This is the most wanted number one. The Koning Seg Agera R. Uh, I guess that's a real car. So, this is, as you can see from the distance meter up in the top left, this is an incredibly long race, but don't let the 10.1 miles trick you into thinking that this is going to be a really long race. This video is about 4... well, the video is not. But the race goes about 4 minutes and 20 seconds, and it could go, could have gone a little faster than that. Uh, but, you know, you're expected to crash a certain amount of times in this race. Now, like I said, most of this takes place on the highway, so you want the car that you have that has the most fast this fastest car you got. I'm racing currently in the Audi RA GT Spider. Uh, the Bentley car that's the most wanted three is another good choice, but I find that car to be just too fast, and I prefer the way this thing handles. So the car that you're racing against is easy to take out, so don't really worry if it gets all up in your grill. You'll be able to take it out real easy. But as you'll notice, I've got a 6 heat level, which means uh, sports cars are going to be coming after you and all kinds of stuff. So a number of things to watch out for is one of those sports cop cars getting in front of you. What they'll do is they'll shoot out a row of spikes well, a spike strip right out of the rear of the car and it'll probably take out your tires. So I completely and wholeheartedly recommend the reinflatable tires. I'm using them right here. You've sacrificed just a tiny little bit of speed, but it's totally worth it because this is the most wanted number one race. I mean, you can pull out all the stops. So this is the second time back on the highway. You'll cover a lot of distance up here. As you can see, that car finally took first place back. You know, it's just Give him a little bump, take him out. No big deal. And the only other thing to really worry about is the last time you get off the highway towards the end of the race, just make sure that you're within visual distance of that car with one mile to go because the last mile of the race takes place on the streets and there are a couple of really tight turns that you have to take and those are actually really good places to take the car that you're racing against out where you can do like the bumper turn, I guess is a way to describe it, like it'll turn in front of you and you can just take it out and then go ahead on down. So just make sure you're in a spot to do something like that at the end, and then before you know it, you'll be the most wanted. Stop it for 